Okay, so let's get this test underway. Uh, I think we'll start off with just my opinion, and it's a very personal thing this, in terms of visuals and how these two clubs compare in terms of looks. If you watch my uh, recent review of this uh, new G400 crossover, uh, I'll repeat very briefly what I had to say, which was that I love this Hydra Pearl finish, which is in the G400 irons. It's very nice indeed. The thing I was slightly negative about was this shaft, which I love in the driver, how it changes from copper to this black look and it blends into the driver head. It does the complete opposite for me in this. This black shaft into the uh, Hydra Pearl chrome, matte chrome finish really sort of accentuates the size of the head for me. And one of the things that I would have actually preferred from the previous model is that exact opposite. It was a dark grey graphite look in terms of the head with a similar colour shaft and I think it does, like I said, the complete opposite. Now for some people, if I lay these two clubs right down now, like I said, it does look a smaller, more compact head, the black finish last year's model and like I said for my eye I like that but it may work the complete opposite for others and it may be a bit more confidence inspiring to see that larger head or it's probably I think it is a slightly bigger size head but it certainly appears that way which is the with the shaft color against the club for me anyway that's what I think um, but for all intents and purposes, um, I think again a slightly thicker top line on this uh, Hydra Pearl on the new one. Um, but again, it just might be purely down to what my eye is seeing in relation to this uh, black shaft that goes into it. Anyway, that's just an opinion on the uh, where I'd perhaps just give a little bit of a thumbs up to last year's model, uh, which I haven't done so far much on this G400 range because the G400 has been flying. Let's hit some golf balls. I'll start with, well, I won't start with, I'm going to use the exact numbers. I've just tested this thing about uh, an hour or so ago so I'll be using the numbers that I uh, gathered from that testing to compare it in the head-to-head -head with this one right S set up exactly the same by the way uh, for 22 degrees loft and exactly the same regular shafts obviously last year's models which is close as we can get in terms of getting a comparison Okay, so golf balls hit. Um, interesting on that one because, like I said, I think everything so far for the G400 has received rave reviews from me. Um, and this one is slightly different. It's not a negative by any, way, by any means, but I think visually I prefer last year's model or the predecessor. I'm not sure when it came out, but, uh, the previous model. Uh, yeah, I prefer it in terms of looks. And actually in terms of performance, there may be things to suggest that I preferred again uh, last year's model. Uh, but let's start off first of all by having a look at the numbers that I hit with the G400. Um, so what we've got is a club head speed of 87 mile an hour and a ball speed on average, I'm talking about here now, of 126. Launching at 16.1 average and again, average carry distance 199, longest being 206. 
and the rollout being, which is a bit irrelevant in some ways, but rollout, what, well, averaging 219, 228 being the longest. Now, the thing with this club is, um, first of all, it is very, very easy to hit. The, again, the difference between good and bad is minimal. I think one of the big things, noticeable things about this G400 range is the, if you hit a really bad shot, no golf club is going to help you whatsoever. But I think where you've got slightly off centre strikes, heel and toe, which from an average golfer, don't forget, I play off eight. An average golfer, we're never going to be striking in the middle of the club every time. And for me with the G400 range, it's been that stability or the, the dispersion rather, has been very, very good between those centre strikes and the slightly off centre strikes, let's say. Um, but let's just go now and have a look at the performance of the last year's model, the predecessor, I keep calling it last year's model, but I can't remember when it came out in terms of dates. So again, slightly quicker average on a club head speed at 88, and again, ball speed at 130. Spin at two, uh, just under 3,000 average. And I'll have to flick back to see what the spin, the spin again, 3-1, so slightly higher spinning on the uh, newer model, which would be perhaps a positive, but I spoke about this before. For me, a crossover, a utility, I'm whatever you want to call it, my only, I'd be using this off of a tee. Um, on, a, on, a, um, on a short par 4 or a tight par 4 that I was looking to uh, find a fairway. It'd become my go-to iron off the tee if I didn't fancy driver 3 wood. I'm not sure that there's not many um, par 3s that I'd be hitting into at sort of 220 yards um, that I'm looking and spin being uh, really that relevant. But anyway, it depends how you intend to use this club on what for, I suppose. But for me on this thing, spin's not a massive issue. Um, Going back to so carry distance is 210, which is a good 10 yards up in terms of carrying. That's the key one on these clubs, forgetting where it's rolling out to. But 210 in terms of carry, that's a t further 10 yards in carry. And uh, averaging out at 231 in the rollout, but again, very consistent um, as well in terms of where that ball um, carried and finished. And again, that's for me where it becomes a little bit too difficult. I always like to be very honest with my reviews and my assessments, and when a club deserves credit, I will give it. And there's, I'm not giving a discredit to any of them. These are very, very good golf clubs, both of them. My only thing would be is, would I tell you to go out there and swap your current crossover to the new one? I'm not sure I would, no. Um, the new club is very, very good. For me personally, I prefer last year's looks in terms of visuals. I think there's perhaps a little bit of a better sound out of the new club and a bit more feel out of it. So there are improvements in the new club. I'm just not sure that they're that good to persuade you in terms of changing. But if it's this kind of club you're in the market for, then uh, it certainly there's no wrong with it. There's certainly, uh, this is a great, great range from Ping this G400. And again, they've produced another belter. But in the head-to-head, -head, I think probably maybe even Stevens or maybe slightly better on the previous model. But anyway, draw your own conclusions. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, plenty of videos going on this week and uh, more to come because this G range is, uh, I've got hybrids, fairway woods, plenty more to, uh, to review. So keep on watching as ever and uh, thank you. See you soon.